Hey everyone, it's me here, back again with another video, how are you all? Hope you guys are doing well. So, before we get on with the actual video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, which is right here. Without saying anything else, let's take it to the intro. Right, before I get on with this, um, we get on with this video, I would like to apologise for the background noise. I'm actually filming in the kitchen today and the noise that you're hearing is my fridge. I don't know what's wrong with it, but it's making a weird noise. Moving on now. So this video is basically how I take care of my hair, basically what I do to maintain the shine, the, um, well, you know, to keep that thick, thick thickness that I already have. And yeah, so my hair has changed from so many, it has changed like so many times. I had different haircuts. I had different lengths, I had, um, yeah, I did so many things with it. Well, I didn't dye it or anything, because that's just not really my thing, really. But um, I found out, you know, um, you know how my hair type was. I used to have really thick, curly hair before. I put some images right here so you guys can see how it was before. And basically, now it's just basically like this. Um, I did cut it, uh, I think back in April, I cut. I had a really short haircut, my dad cut it for me, here's a picture right here. Um, at first I didn't like it, but as it grew out, I started um, to dig it a bit, it really, really looked, well I liked it, I don't care if anyone else didn't, but I you know, slowly kind of got the hang of it as it started to grow out a bit, and this is the length that it is now, and I'm actually quite happy with this length, I'm not going to cut it anymore, I'm just going to let it grow to the way I had it before, because Back in 2017, 2018, I did have long hair, here's a picture, and then after that I've just been cutting it really non-stop, which is not good. Well, I wouldn't really say I haven't been cutting it non-stop, it's just been, you know, I've been, you know, like every, I think, six, six to maybe eight months I've been like cutting it, like I just have the urge, oh, I really want to cut my hair, get my hair done, but... You know what, now I'm you know restricting myself, I really want to grow it out, I just want to take good care of it. I know straighten, straightening it isn't really taking care of it, but I just really don't like my natural hair. It's just a big ball of mess and it just doesn't really look good. So I'm going to sit here and talk to you guys what I do to take care of it. So I use this oil. Before I used to use um, different kind of oils like argan oil, almond oil, castor oil, uh, coconut oil, the lot, yeah? But this one is really good. It's a brand called Vatica and it is really good. Um, I started recently using this again, I think nearly a month now. As you guys can see, the bottle is nearly like halfway down to finishing point. But honestly, this, I use, I, I use it, well, I try to use it twice a week. So what I do basically, I um, put it on my hair and then I massage it in. I don't put it directly onto the hair, I mainly focus it on the scalp because that is like the main, you know, route to your hair, you know, your lovely hair. So basically what I do, I put this on, massage it deep in, deep into the scalp. If I don't do it, my mum will kindly do it for me because I just kind of prefer if someone else does it and she just massages it in really good so that, you know, the blood gets flowing to the follicles and that and it's just, it feels good as well. So this has been my number one friend for a nearly a month. Well, I wouldn't, yeah, I think a month now I've been using this, maybe nearly a month. So it is really good. I do recommend it. You could get it, well, I got this from... Uh, yeah, Tesco's um, near the ethnic um, department. So that's where I get it, but I'm trying to use different kind of things. And what I use, basically what I do, like I said, so I massage it, once I massage it, I leave it, leave it in for, I aim to leave it for two hours. Sometimes I keep it for longer, it could be three hours, and then I wash it as normal. But I do shampoo twice, just in case if any of the oil remains in the scalp, which has happened in the past. So yeah, I do double wash uh, with shampoo, just so that all the oil are basically rinsed out, so I don't get left with oily looking hair. So i done it yesterday, so I, what I did, my, well, what my mum did, she massaged it into my scalp, and then I sat there for about four minutes, I did time myself, 
and I just basically massaged my scalp. And basically what I do, I do, I flip my head forward and then I just massage it really good for about four minutes. It does get a little bit painful because your neck starts to hurt, but I still do it. And it feels, honestly, it does feel really good. And what I basically, what I, if, I, if I haven't washed it on that day, I basically just, massage, if I'm sitting down doing nothing, I would sit there and just massage my head. So what I use to shampoo with is obviously Nanogen shampoo. This is the 7 in 1 shampoo for women. I get this from Amazon. It's really good. I have spoken about this product before. I think in my last previous yeah, in my previous um, hair care routine, I have spoken about this. Go check that out. And I have spoken about Nanogen shampoo, which is really good. I really love this shampoo. It's just one of my favorites. And thanks to my sister who has recommended it. So we both basically use this and it's really good. Uh, I think that it's, you know, it doesn't, it's not one of those shampoos that, you know, smell very strong and chemically. It just smells like very, um, I don't know how to explain it got some on my nose now oh my gosh um i can't really explain the smell to me it has that very citrusy smell but i yeah i can't really explain it it's just really nice and there's only like five no sorry four steps to follow i don't know if you guys can see that so i basically follow all these steps and honestly they just make my hair wonders what i like about this shampoo is that when i finished using it it just makes my hair looking very shiny and very glossy and it also adds a little bit of volume once I've washed it and I just love a good you know I just love a little bit of volume and this just does really good for me honestly I wouldn't change it I've been using it for nearly a year now maybe an over a year and I'm not gonna stop basically so it's from Amazon it's not really that expensive um, I'll link it in the description box below if you guys want to go check it out so it is really good and I really do recommend it so I don't really do anything else to my hair unless if you know I do like a hair mask which rarely never happens so I keep telling myself I'm gonna do a hair mask but then I totally forget and it doesn't really happen which is really annoying so yeah so basically once i've washed my hair i don't really do anything to it i just let it air dry i don't blow dry i only blow blow dry when i'm in a rush or when I, if i'm going out to a party or something or an event and that is the only time that i would blow dry my hair and most of the days i just keep it like that i just leave it down i don't really do anything with it today is looking a little bit flat because all that volume is gone but you know what it still looks nice and it has grown i'm so happy that it's finally growing out because it, it does my hair takes forever to grow out and it's really annoying how long it takes and it's just i don't, I don't know it just takes forever <laughs> i don't know why so but after like using this and massaging it into the scalp for like four minutes it you know it really does the job i have been noticing a lot of growth growth <laughs> i can't even talk now and it just does really good stuff to your hair honestly it just makes it look shiny and glossy and healthy and it gives that silky lovely fe feeling that i really like and it was also easier for me to straighten my hair when using that as well so it just you know gets all the frizziness out and oh it's just really good so i do recommend so make sure you guys go and if you guys are trying to if any of you are trying to grow out your hair make sure you try vatica um castor this is castor oil so you know it's really good but you know what any oil will do the same thing so you know whether it's coconut oil um almond oil anything like that try different types i mean i i did try many different things and honestly um you know using it using it just on its own is actually okay it doesn't really it's not gonna you know do any harm anything because i use it on my i use it on its own and it doesn't really you know it doesn't really do anything so but honestly using it on its own is just better <laughs> if that's that's what i'm trying to say that you don't really need to mix it with anything you can if you want mix it with another oil but i personally just use it on its own directly onto the scalp and i just massage it and keep it in there for like two to three hours and it just it feels good as well after once you've washed it and you know styled it it just feels better it looks better and it looks healthy as well so i do recommend you guys um you know doing that so that's my hair care routine i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have any questions on um 
my hair in general or if you guys want to know anything about the products that I use make sure you just um, comment down below of this video so then I can reply back to you as soon as possible but like I said make sure you hit that subscribe button which is right here more videos are coming your way and I shall see you in my next video whenever that will be but stay tuned but for now it's goodbye and I wish you all a great week see you guys